<laughs> this piece I put out here is causing quite the commotion. See what I said? We can't handle the truth. You know, everybody keeps bitching about how, you know, society is not progressing. The world is like that. Do you know why? Because human beings have never learned how to look at themselves in the mirror and accept themselves for the flawed characters that they are. We like to think that we are better than we are, but we're not. So, this morning, I have a question for you. For you, who's watching? When you make an irreversible mistake in your life, and everybody makes these mistakes, how do you think society should treat you? Do you think society should condemn you for the rest of your life? Or do you get to remedy that situation by trying to make things better? Question for you. Thank you. Question for you too. But before we answer your question, we say good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. I greet you all according to your time and your location, depending on where you are listening to us from today. In case this is the first time you are coming across Gossip Headquarter, please hit the like button, subscribe, turn on your notification bell, so that whenever we drop just like this, you'll be among the first set of people to be notified and you'll be the first to watch. To my returning subscribe by say thank you. May God bless you. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for sticking with us. We appreciate every bit of your subscription. So guys, let's go down to what your Ledoshe brother just said now. He asked a question that do you think if somebody make an irreversible mistake that the person should be condemned for the rest of their life or they should remedy the situation? First of all, let's go according to what has been happening. I feel he is defending his brother reasons because his brother got a woman impregnated. And I believe before that impregnating, before him impregnating that woman is not just that year. He did not inform his wife to go and meet his wife and say, hey, baby. I impregnated a woman who is my colleague. I don't know I'm going to talk to you about it or I don't know. She's refusing to abort the child of which abortion is a sin. What do we do, my wife? Come on, I've made a mistake. He did not go to meet his wife like that so they can remedy the situation at as the early stage. That is to say that their affairs have been going on for quite a time. And now, the woman put to bed, and before a woman put to bed, it takes a whooping nine months. Some are 42 weeks. But then, think of it. For the whole of that nine months, not even a hint was passed to your wife. Not even you calling your wife to say this is it and that is it. That's fine. It's not justifiable. It's not okay to be condemned by the world according to you defending your brother. Then, the woman put to bed. You still did not go and meet your wife to say, my wife, I didn't know how to tell you all those why. A lady was pregnant for me and she's been delivered of a baby boy. She's threatening me to marry her. Or their tradition says I should marry her. You didn't go there to say this. Instead, what did you do? You kept it mute until the child is almost a year old. Okay. You still did not come to meet your wife that I had an affair with a woman who later got pregnant. She delivered a child. The child is going to one year and she's asking me to make her public. My wife, how do we go about this? You still did not go and meet your wife. Meaning that you as the brother know all this that have been happening. But the wife was left in the dark. You didn't consider how she was going to feel. You didn't consider her going to act rational by giving her the shock of her life. You didn't thought she would have been depressed 
and you didn't deem it fit because the society make women voiceless. They make women feel that they do not have a choice. They make women feel they cannot speak because they feel their duty ends in the kitchen. Thank God for civilization. Thank God that the world is coming to, to, to a global space where everybody cannot end their view. To you, Uche, how will you feel if the table was turned around that your own wife was impregnated by another man and she pretend under your roof that she was pregnant with your child? And then the child was delivered and she still did not give you any hints. And there comes a man one day to say your wife should make her public, should make him public, that the whole world needs to know that the child belongs to him. How then will you feel? Will you still come out to say that it is an irreversible mistake and if it's you how will you reverse the situation to my viewers i want you to drop what you think about this your left joshua brother is trying to justify his brother by saying they are condemning him for the rest of his life it is simple why don't he that why don't he tell the brother to say my brother come out and make a choice your first wife, who refused to be numbered as a wife, have said you should make your choice. And to you should be to the world. Since my wife said I should choose because she cannot practice polygamy, I thereby let Judy Austin go. Or my wife is been a whole 17 years. And I cannot make another woman come between me and our children. Therefore, I let her go. Or, I found peace with this new woman. You can go. Let the new woman stay. I think this is the best solution. Because of a true, you cannot cajole people. Or you cannot force them to practice what they do not believe in. So guys, I want you to drop your comment in the comment section about what you think about this particular stand that Yole Doshe is refusing to take. If you were to be him, what would be your decision? To let Judith Austin go or to let her stay? To let May, your first wife, go or to let her stay? Please let us know why you chose this as your own answers. Remember, this is Gossip Headquarter. Remember to like, share, subscribe, and drop your comments. We will see you again in our next video. Bye.